lot bigger. This is just for demonstration purposes only. So the first thing you're going to notice here is I have two characters. I have a landscape, which again, yours is going to be a lot better than this. This is just for a show. I have um, apples and I have some trees and rocks and you can put pipes or whatever else you want to put in. Uh, the goal of this game is going to be to race the NPC, which is going to be the other Kodu, um, to collect the most apples. So there's three pieces of programming in this um, and they're all very simple. So the first piece of programming is going to be to program our Kodu. So when you're on the object tool, you right click, hit program, and the first thing we have to do is program our Kodu's movement. So when I click when, that's going to be the keyboard. What do we want to do when the keyboard is pressed? Move. That's very simple. Second thing, when the Kodu bumps, when he bumps the apples, he should eat it. So we're going to go to eat, and then we're going to do it. Very simple. The third piece is very simple. We're going to click on here. We're going to click and drag it in. So um, I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to right, left click and drag. And this is basically just saying th these two lines, when something's not indented, they happen at the same time. But when a line's indented, it will only happen once the line above it uh, happens in the game. So it won't happen unless he eats apples. So what we're going to do is we need to put a score in here. We need to increase the score every time he eats an apple. So when, we're not going to use when, we're just going to do. Because again, it's a result of this. So when he eats the apple, what should he do down here? So we're going to click on it, and we're going to go to um, Game, Plus Score. And we're going to put a color for our text, and we're just going to use red. And then Points, One Point, and Once. So this is saying, when the apple's eaten, what should we do? Uh, increase the score by one point, by one red point, one time for each apple. So that's the first bit of programming really quick. Now, number two, the NPC, the non-playable character, is a little bit more difficult. So he needs to be doing two things. He needs to be looking for an apple, and when he sees the apple, he needs to be eating it and increasing his points. So when he sees, and what are we trying to see here, the apple, so object apple, what should he be doing? He should be moving toward the apples uh, quickly. That's the first line, easy. Second thing, he needs to be moving about when he's not seeing the apple. So when, and we're going to do the same exact thing we just did. So when he sees um, apples, only we're going to put in not. So that reads, when he sees the apple, not. So remember how coding is not precise, exact English? And if we were to read it in English, we would just say, when he's not seeing the apple. It just, it just words a little bit weird because it's coding. So when he's not seeing the apple, he needs to be moving. And he's going to be wandering around quickly until he sees an apple. And then he's going to do this code. Now, we again, we need to put the same code we did in ours. When he bumps the apple, then he should eat it. And finally, we need to indent this guy one more time. Whoops. And we're going to go to do again. So do game, add a score. Let's make him blue. Uh, add one point for each apple he touches. Good. Last piece of code. We're going to right click on the rock and go to program. So. This part of code can be in a rock or a tree. It just can't be in the NPC or the apples. So whatever else extra you put in there, just right click on one thing. And then we need to make it so somebody wins the game. So my first thing I'm going to do is when, I'm going to go to more, when the score, and we're going to pick, we need to do our score first. So when our red score, because we picked red, if you picked blue, it would have been blue. So when our red score, compare equals points so if our red score equals 20 points then we go to do game win so this is saying if the red score goes up to 20 points or we're gonna put five sorry because we have a small amount of apples here you're gonna do something around 20 so you're gonna have a lot more apples so when 
uh, the score gets to five, we win. When the red score, rather. Same thing here. More um, scores. When the blue score, that's his score, equals points five, then do game end, which means we lose. Finally, what you should do is you need to right click on the change settings on each character and increase both the multipliers all the way because again you're going to have a bigger game than me so you're going to want this speed you can hit escape to get out of this once you do it so you're on object right click change settings boom boom all of them and uh, make sure your NPCs are on the ground by right clicking change height and that should be set to really low so now if I press escape to test this we're going to be wandering around, and he just collected five apples almost immediately. Again, you're going to have a bigger game. You're going to set it to, like, 20 apples. But notice how he got all the apples, and he won the game, and I got a game over screen.